Congressman Beth Van Dyne. Your reaction to that story? Oh, I mean, I think it's definitely censorship. They have, you know, information that they don't want to get out because shiny object, look over here, look over here. This is our great new deal. Don't look at your gas pump. Don't look at your, your electric bill. Don't look at your food bill. Don't look at what's causing all those ra raises in inflation. No, no, no. Green New Deal, good. We don't want anything bad about that. Wow. And unfortunately, they're censoring pretty much everybody. And that's, look, we have First Amendment rights. Come on. Yeah, that's a violation of it. Government can't do that. Okay, what we want to show Absolutely. now is, Congressman, we would like your reaction to this. You're going to see Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm insists that expensive $70,000 electric cars are the fix to high gas prices. Also, you're going to see climate czar John Kerry. He's now getting slammed for claiming we don't need to drill for more oil and gas. And you're going to see climate czar Gina McCarthy talking more censorship. Watch. If you filled up your EV by charging, and you filled up your gas tank with gasoline and you have the same size tank, you would save $60 per fill up by going electric rather than using gasoline. The energy security worry is driving a lot of the thoughts now about, oh, we need more drilling of gas. We need more drilling of this. We need to go back to coal. No, we don't. And we have to prevent a false narrative from entering into this. The tech companies have to stop allowing specific individuals over and over again to spread disinformation. That's what the fossil fuel companies pay for. We have to be smarter than that. And we need the tech companies to really jump in. Okay, Congresswoman, is Gina McCarthy going to censor John Kerry for disinformation? Because he would shut down the power grid. Granholm's own energy department sa says that fossil fuels, not gas, coal, oil, they pa that powers the electric grid that you need for electric cars. I mean, is she going to? I have no idea. Uh, you, you, but it, at this point in time, it wouldn't shock me if they did that. What you're hearing is, again, it is an, an administration that is completely out of touch with reality, completely out of touch with what working and families are having to, to go f through right now. And the idea of let them eat cake, let them buy a $60,000, $70,000 electric car, ignoring the fact that not only are gas prices going up by double, triple digits, but you also have electricity rates that are going up by double digits. So last year, last year, you had one out of six families that could not pay their electric bill. And this year you're talking about, oh, no, 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 just plug your just plug your car in. No problem. They are completely out of touch. Electricity costs money. Electricity is going up double digit inflation right now because of the Biden administration's um, policies. And what you're hearing from the Biden administration is, Oh, just just don't do it. No, yeah, and you need more net gas. Though. You need more drilling. You need more, more net gas yeah. to power electric the electric grid, which which powers electric cars. I mean, yeah. I, it's it's unfathomable why they're doing this. The White House just last month they got rid of the disinformation board at Homeland Security. That was going to script the White House's version of the truth of social media and media outlets censoring any dissent. You know, and by the way, Biden draining the strategic yeah. oil reserves, Congresswoman, that's not an energy policy. That reserve is meant for There's emergencies. There's no energy like, policy. Yeah, it's, it's meant for emergencies yeah. like hurricanes, not political losses. Let's Exactly. Watch. Yeah, so let's not, watch. Not exactly. Yeah, take that on. Results. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Take that on. Well, I mean, you you have you have a, a an administration who's claiming that they care about climate, you know, climate change and climate control. They care about wanting to have cleaner oil. And at the same token, they're crushing the production of the cleanest product that we that we produce in America and instead are going over and begging other countries that we have no control over how they're billing, how they're they're pulling their product out of the ground. We have no control over how clean it is, but we do know that it is a lot dirtier the way that they produce their product than we do in, over here in America. And yet, in order to make up for the demand, instead of having increased production in the U.S., they are attacking U.S. oil industry and instead choosing other foreign nations for our our oil needs yeah. and bringing in a much dirtier product, much worse for the environment. And attacking U.S. jobs. By the way, let's watch Jimmy yep. Fallon on this. Watch. Speaking of Biden, I read as fuel prices continue to surge, the White House cons is considering a temporary suspension of the federal gas tax. Yeah, they're, they're considering it, so... <laughs> Take your time, gang. Uh, you can tell the president is on the older side when he's like, oh, what if we give everyone a quarter? That's pretty funny. What do you say, Congresswoman? 
Well, it would be funny if everybody wasn't having to live this disastrous reality. It would be funny if people weren't having to choose between health care and, and gas and being able to go to, to work. It would be funny if you didn't have municipalities who weren't able to have their police now respond to calls because their budget for, for gas has been shot and they can't afford to put gas in their police cars. Um, it's all funny until you know it's happening to you, and this is what American families are dealing with every day. Congresswoman Van Dyne, it's great to see you. Thank you so much. Come back soon. Okay. This story, the wake-up call 